guys, this is Austin. Not exactly what you were expecting, right? This is the Dyson Cyclone V10. I know what you're probably thinking. Why am I doing a video on a vacuum? However, when Dyson reached out and wanted to sponsor a video on this brand new V10, I've gotta say, there's actually some pretty cool tech inside. What makes the Dyson V10 interesting is that not only is today the launch, but this is the first in their next generation of vacuums. So from here on out, while they'll still sell some of their current models, all the new models are going to be cord free. Pop it open, and the first thing we see is some paperwork on how to solve your problems with Dyson. Uh, we also get the activate your warranty, which is going to be for two years. And there's actually a lot of vacuum pieces. So what's interesting about this is that you're actually going to be able to use it as a bit of a convertible. So not only is it going to be a standard sort of upright vacuum, but you can also use it in a little bit more of a handheld mode. So inside here is going to be where you're going to find the motor, the cyclone, that actually is not too heavy. Uh, there should be a battery in here. Oh. Do you hear that? That's actually really cool. So the battery's already in here? That's super lightweight. I feel like the Dyson engineers, they spent literally five years working on this motor design, but I feel like two or three of those years were like, how do I get it to sound really cool? And they definitely succeeded. So I feel like I've done enough unboxings that usually I'm kind of like, oh, whatever, it's a charger, it's this, it's that. But with this, I legitimately have no idea what to expect. And every single time I think I'm done, there's like five more boxes full of cool stuff. I'm gonna level with you guys for a second. Pretty much all the vacuums I've bought in my life are the cheap, terrible ones. This, this is all much nicer. Now with that, I think we have all of the accessories for our Dyson V10. Now the next step is to charge this guy up and actually see what it can do. Of course, as a vacuum, the only way to properly test it is to, well, vacuum stuff. That, that actually works surprisingly well. So you'd think because this is battery powered, it's not going to have the same suction as a normal vacuum, but the motor in here is kind of ridiculous. It spins at like 125,000 RPM. Even though this is so portable, you're really not going to be losing out on any practicality either, as even though it's going to be really lightweight, you're still getting up to 60 minutes on a single charge. And when it comes time to actually empty it out, it's super simple. Just remove your attachment, open up your trash can, and there's a little button on the bottom here. If you just press all the way down, empty everything out, Close it up and you're good to go. One of the nice parts about the Dyson Cyclone V10 is the fact that it is going to be so modular. So because you get so many different options that all come in the box, we can switch the head over to something that's going to be a little bit better for hard floors. And we just fire it up. Just easily do it. I feel like I'm in an air commercial right now. But once you're done with that, say we can just unhook that, set it down. And we can switch it over to fully portable mode with one of these smaller little dudes. So I hook that up and we can, you know, fix our completely realistic and normal looking scenario of having stuff on a table, but it still works. I've gotta say, the Dyson Cyclone V10 is a legitimate piece of tech. When you consider just how crazy powerful those motors are, how powerful the batteries are to last a full hour, as well as all the different kinds of accessories and stuff, it's pretty cool. So of course, if you guys wanna check out anything to do with the Dyson Cyclone V10, the link will be in the description. I'm curious, do you think this video sucked? I'm sorry, I made it all the way through the video without making that joke, so I just had to get it in here at the very end. Let me know in the comments below and I will get you in the next one. I can't believe I did that.